Imagine you could take your data center and unleash its potential, transform it into a powerful, highly automated IT resource. Imagine a data center that achieves new levels of availability, scale, and efficiency, that moves workloads seamlessly across your private cloud, service provider clouds, and public clouds. You don't have to imagine it. Transform your data center with Windows Server 2012, built from the cloud up. As the person who led the engineering team that developed Windows Server 2012, I'm honored to take you on a tour of our newest release and discuss how it powers the cloud OS, transforming and modernizing single servers all the way to global data centers, and demonstrate major innovations we've pioneered in the era of the cloud OS. In fact, we built Windows Server 2012 with the cloud OS in mind. Microsoft runs some of the world's largest data centers and internet scale services. This uniquely positions Microsoft to pour all of that learning into our products and test them at scale and use our unparalleled experience in transforming data centers to address the needs and pressures of this new era of IT. No one else in the industry can say this. We've learned that modern data centers have four key attributes. They need to be scalable and elastic, share resources, be always up and always on, and have automation and self-service. With our experience in all four facets running in our own data centers, we built Windows Server 2012 with one goal, to be the industry-leading engine of the cloud OS. It's the deepest and broadest release ever, built for companies of all sizes, whether you run a single server connecting to the cloud or a large data center. Let's start with scalability and elasticity. In modern data centers, services must span many servers and rapidly expand and contract automatically based on demand. Windows Server 2012 meets the scalability needs of companies of all sizes, one to thousands of servers. With Hyper-V scale, no workload is off limits. For example, Windows Server can now virtualize over 99% of all SQL databases. And it can support the largest VMs with 64 virtual processors and one terabyte of memory per VM. And announcing today, 8,000 VMs per cluster, the largest in the industry. In terms of shared resources, Cost is critical. To transform the data center, resources must be shared, optimize utilization across the entire data center and beyond. Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V has network virtualization and multi-tenancy and isolation built in. Software-defined networking enables you to isolate different business units, different customers, and different workloads on shared infrastructure with quality of service and resource metering. And for storage virtualization and thin provisioning, if you use a SAN, we've made enhancements with our partners using offload technology, ODX. Windows Server 2012 also enables storage pooling through a technology called Storage Spaces. It delivers highly available storage pools on industry standard hardware. Let me pause for a moment and invite Jeff Wolseley up to show you how Windows Server can transform your data center. Jeff. Thanks, Bill. Windows Server 2012 is about making businesses more agile, data centers more flexible, and providing the definitive backbone for cloud. But most importantly, Windows Server 2012 is about customer focus. We heard you loud and clear. You want to virtualize everything, even those workloads considered non-virtualizable. Workloads that require dozens of cores, hundreds of gigabytes of memory, are SAN attached and with exceptionally high I.O. requirements. Think Dynamics, Exchange, SharePoint, and massive scale-up SQL Server. With Windows Server 2012, we're redefining performance and scale, with support for up to 320 logical processors per server four terabytes of physical memory per server, and up to 64 virtual processors per VM. In addition, 
you can see we've allocated 120 gigabytes of memory to this virtual machine. And Hyper-V will support up to a full terabyte of memory per VM. And whether this VM has been allocated 10 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes, or a full terabyte, it still costs the same. From a storage standpoint, virtual disk can now be up to 64 terabytes per virtual disk, which is 32 times anyone else in the industry. From a cluster standpoint, we now support the largest clusters in the industry. And as we expand this, you can see this cluster has 64 nodes. In addition, as we scroll down, you can see 8,000 virtual machines in a cluster, all of this built into Windows Server 2012. In terms of storage, whether you choose to use direct attached, file-based, SAN-based, or cloud-based storage, we've made huge investments in storage across the board. One of our key focuses is to make continuously available storage more cost-effective for businesses of all sizes. With storage spaces, you can aggregate storage resources and create flexible, resilient storage pools that can be easily expanded based on your business needs. Now here in the new server manager, you can see that the current storage space is nearly full. When I need more space, I simply click add physical disk and add new disks to expand the pool. In this case, we've added a new, a new disk to increase capacity and also notice the hot spare option for additional reliability. We're gonna add the disk and you can see that in just a few clicks, we've increased my storage pool with no impact to running services and without downtime. Now let's move to network multi-tenancy. When it comes to networking, we're seeing a fundamental shift in the way that networks are deployed in the modern data center, enabling public, private, and hybrid clouds to use software-defined networking, or SDN. SDN is about using the power of software to manage, control, and operate your networks. With Windows Server 2012 and System Center 2012 SP1, you can easily and dynamically provision isolated virtual networks running on the same physical fabric. Let's have a look. Here you can see we have three different companies all running on shared infrastructure. Same servers, storage, and network fabric. In fact, two of them, Contoso and Tailspin, are using the same subnet and are still isolated through network virtualization. And that's only the beginning. In addition to network multi-tenancy, network virtualization solves a huge problem facing the industry, IP portability across subnets. Let's look at the physical network fabric that makes up the wingtip hosting network. Here you can see that it is running across two different subnets. The New York subnet is 172.17.1.0, while the Seattle subnet is 172.16.1.0. Now let's go back to the VM and services view, and you can see that I have a server in New York and another in Seattle. And in fact, we created this little IP portability tool on top of PowerShell, of course, to show you these VMs and their IP addresses in an easy graphical view. We can see that the customer address for the VM in the Seattle site and the one in the New York site are both in the 10.2 subnet, while the underlying provider addresses are on completely different subnets. So now we're gonna live migrate a VM across subnets from Seattle to New York. First, we right click on a virtual machine in Seattle and select Live Migrate. Now we're gonna choose all hosts so I can see hosts running in both environments. I'm gonna choose the destination server in the New York site and continue with the live migration. We can also click on the View Script button to show the raw PowerShell if I'd like to copy and paste this for further automation. Now in just a few clicks, we're live migrating a virtual machine across physical subnets, all without service interruption. And if we go back to the portability tool, you'll see that the server has moved to the new site and the customer address, which is the IP address running within the VM, hasn't changed. But the underlying physical address is in a new subnet. With network virtualization, you can extend your IT to a new data center or to a service provider without having to re-IP your workloads and using your existing switches and existing routers. Network virtualization is game-changing technology built into Windows Server 2012. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Jeff. Boy, this is amazing stuff. Moving to always on, always up. A modern data center services must be resilient to hardware failure, software failure, and servicing. The software needs to be architected to handle failure without any service interruption. Windows Server 2012 lets you deliver the highest levels of service availability at much lower costs. 
We've made investments in SMB storage protocol and Hyper-V to deliver high-performance, highly available file-based storage. Our new Share Nothing Live Migration in Windows Server 2012 gives you complete VM mobility, letting you live migrate virtual machines with simply a network connection. To enable continuous availability during servicing, we have cluster-aware updating. You can now automate server updates and patching across a cluster of the servers without impacting the service. Finally, we turn to automation and self-service. Automation and light site management are key attributes of any modern data center. Also, the ability to enable departments and users to self-provision. In Server 2012, we have delivered ubiquitous automation with over 2,400 new PowerShell commandlets, eliminating manual tasks, enabling you to manage servers at very, very large scale. Windows Server has built-in standards-based management. And we have a world-class management system with System Center 2012, which layers on the capabilities in Windows Server, giving you a policy-driven automation system to efficiently meet the new unparalleled levels of service you need. Many of you also want to connect to and use public cloud services. Let's see how you can extend the boundaries of your data center with another demo from Jeff. Now let's take a look at the new Scale-Out File Server. With the new Scale-Out File Server, all nodes are active, and this architecture intrinsically provides more scale as nodes are added, and continuous uptime even when nodes are removed. It's a powerful solution. Now here we are running a real-world OLTP workload in SQL Server 2012. SQL Server is accessing its data on a two-node scale-out file server. In Perfmon, you can see the workload is generating a significant amount of I.O. Here in the Failover Cluster Manager in the Nodes tab, you can see both servers. Now, while this OLTP workload continues to process, we're going to simulate a node failure on one of the continuously available file servers that is hosting the SQL data. Keep an eye on Perfmon and watch what happens to the I.O. You can see that there was a momentary brownout while the node was removed, but SQL Server continued to process the OLTP workload without service interruption. And if I need to add more network bandwidth to the Scale-Out file server, well, just to add another node, live, without downtime. In keeping with our theme of always on, we've dramatically improved Hyper-V live migration. For example, Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V now includes shared nothing live migration, which means Hyper-V can live migrate VMs using just a network connection. In addition, we've also added the ability to perform multiple live migrations concurrently, limited only by the hardware you provide. To show you what I mean, here's a server running 120 virtual machines. Now, wouldn't it be great to live migrate 10 or 20 VMs at a time? Well, how about live migrating 120 VMs at the same time? Yes, folks, that's what you're about to see here. So, in case you're wondering about the hardware, the server is using a few 10 gigabit NICs, the new Windows Server 2012 NIC teaming, and the VMs are running on the Windows Server 2012 file server over SMB3. Again, all of this is built in to Windows Server 2012. Now, many of our customers have told us they can't grow their data centers fast enough. Essentially, they want a data center without boundaries. We want to help our customers create the continuous data center, and transform the industry. Here's the new Windows Azure portal, and you can see a list of VMs, cloud services, SQL databases, and more. Let's create a new virtual machine from the gallery. Now here you can see a variety of choices from Windows Server to even different Linux distributions provided by partners. Let's choose my favorite, Windows Server 2012, and we'll give the VM a name, we'll set the password, and choose the size of the VM, anywhere from extra small to extra large. Next, we'll give the VM a DNS name and storage count. We can also provide additional grouping for high availability, which I don't need right now. And I'm going to use the defaults and click the checkbox. And like that, Windows Azure is creating the VM to our requirements. Folks, the Azure VM role is making huge waves. Since the launch on June 7th, over 60% of all virtual machines deployed are from new customers. We're seeing tremendous growth here. 
With the ability to easily create and deploy VMs on Azure, let me show you how you can manage this from Windows Server 2012 on-premises. So first, we're going to click on Add Other Servers to Manage. Now we're going to click on DNS and type in the DNS name of the VM. Now this server appears as just another server along my servers running on-premises. We can even right-click and add roles, monitor events, all using the new Windows Server 2012 Server Manager. With industry-leading performance and scale, major investments in storage and networking, and the ability to consistently manage all of your clouds, these are just a few of the reasons why Windows Server 2012 make the definitive platform for cloud. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Jeff. Wow, I am so excited, and isn't it amazing the connection between Windows Server and Windows Azure where you can have a seamless experience? You've seen a lot in a very short amount of time, but it's just the beginning. There's much, much more. As I mentioned earlier, this is the broadest and deepest release ever, and our customers tell the story best. So let's hear from a few of them. Availability is critical to us. We deal in very large-scale databases and data repositories. Some of the specific reasons that Windows Server 2012 was very exciting to us was in the area of file server capabilities. With Windows 2012, I don't have to uh, worry about file storage. It just works. Where we're able to transparently take down a single node of the cluster, have our applications automatically move over to other nodes. Then we have plenty of time to work on the node we just took out of the cluster, do our patching, do any type of hardware maintenance that we need, bring it back online, and then let Windows Server 2012 rebalance the loads. It's not just a couple of little fixes, it's a huge release, and it's a huge different experience than what we've had before. I would call it revolutionary. What we see now is really an embracing of technology by students. The student body coming in, they're really technically savvy. Our infrastructure is growing all the time. Network infrastructure for the university has changed dramatically with this increase in laptops and these mobile devices. Windows Server 2012 is going to help us a lot, transform the way we do some of our outages. With our Server 2012 Hyper-V environment, we have a lot more comfort in patching Windows systems than we do with VMware-based hosts. Now you can set at a cluster level to say, I want to patch this entire cluster, and you walk away and it does all that work for you. With Server 2012, I think Microsoft has pretty much leveled the field when it comes to hypervisor with virtualization. We're able to easily move our VMs from VMware over to Hyper-V now. With Hyper-V on 2012, it's right there, and then when you couple that with System Center 2012, you get this entire package that, for us, it's a no-brainer. Outsource 3 are a cloud service provider. We are based in the UK, but we have a global reach. Over the last um, two years, we've focused on being a pure play cloud provider. The way that we position ourselves in the market is that we've got a very high quality enterprise grade platform uh, for business critical applications and workloads. Our customers can run applications and services and actually achieve more in their business using the power of Windows Server and System Center together. Currently, in order to isolate our customers, we have to provision VLANs and subnet. With the network virtualization feature, we basically have the ability now to run multiple customers on the same hardware with the same IP ranges. Customers these days really want flexibility, especially when they're looking at kind of hybrid model of cloud. They want to be able to move things, migrate things from on-premise to a hosting provider like us to Azure. The Windows Server 2012 brings us a, a huge amount of new technology, new features, new capabilities. I couldn't be more grateful to the customers and partners who participated in the development of Windows Server 2012. This release encompasses hundreds of new features, thousands of enhancements, and thousands of engineer years, all focused on one goal, be the industry-leading engine of the cloud OS.